In this video, I will show you how to add a drop shadow to a shape. For example, in this stage, we have a rectangular shape, and we add a shadow. I use two methods. One is directly add a filter, and the filters here. Another one is use the action script directly. So I will show you detail. First, I use the fresh CS6 file new action script 3.0 and click OK. So I use the rectangle tool, I draw a shape here. Here, I use the designer mode. Here, we have a lot of mode. I use the designer mode. So you can see the properties and right left panel. So I create this one, right click mouse, I will convert to symbols. For example, I convert to symbol S1, check export for action script, and click OK. After you convert to symbols, you can see here, left panel, there's a filters here. So under the filter you can see this add filter icon here. Add filter. This is the add, add filter icon. So when you click this add filter you can see drop shadow. When you select drop shadow you can see here the shadow is added for this square. So you can select the detail, the parameter of blur x, blur y, strength, quality, angle. You can check this parameter and the color to change the shadow color. I will introduce another method directly use the action script. So I still use file, new, action script, and create new one. And I also use the rectangle tool to draw shape. I also the same things convert to symbol here. Movie script. So I convert to S1. Export for action script. S1. Click OK. So I define the instant name as a uh, S2. This will be used in the action script. So now this time I will not use the directly use the filters, I use the action script. So I press F9. Press F9. And I import action script. Action script is quite simple. We first initialize uh, object drop shadow. It's the in instant of drop shadow filter. And this is the parameter we can define the same as the in the filter. We can define the distance, angle, color, and quality, etc. This S2 is the instant of my rectangle object. So I define this filter is new array drop shadow of this one. And I uh, call this function. So I copy it to my action script editor. Now I can test. Test move in in fresh Precisional. So you can see a uh, shadow is added. So in this example, we use two examples. One is the directly and the shadow use the filter properties. Use the add filter. Another one, I directly use the action script to add a shadow. Thanks for watching.